Hello Abnormal Investigations, this is the uh, second video drop today at 8 o'clock and it's also one that I've held back also for a while. So these two videos you're getting today are special videos I've had back for quite a while and I decided to pair them together because I thought they were pretty close, uh, pretty close, you know, what they were saying. But I received them quite a few months apart, so I, I uh, thought, well, put them on the same day and see what people think. They are a little different than most uh, encounters, but... I'm ready to share them with you guys and uh, to see what y'all think. So let's get into this for this encounter and uh, see what y'all think. I was out on a solo hike deep in the woods when I saw him. At first, I thought it was a dog. But as he drew closer, I realized it was something much more unusual. He was a dog man. Standing on two legs like a man with eyes that seemed to burn with inner fire. I was frozen in fear unsure what to do. But to my surprise, Mike, the dog man, he spoke to me in a low, raspy voice. He said, I am Nephilim. He said, a creature of legend and a creature thought to be myth. I was taken back and sure of what to make of this claim, but as he drew closer, I saw something in his eyes that made my, oh Mike, it made my blood run cold. It was a deep wisdom, a knowing that seemed to pierce right through me. What do you want from me, I asked, trying to keep my voice steady. He said, I have been watching you, the dog man replied. You have been, re you have been chosen to receive a message from the unknown. And at that, he reached out. A clawed hand and touched my forehead. I was flooded with visions of knowledge, a download of information that left me reeling. When I finally emerged from the trance like state, the dogman was gone. But the memory of his words and the knowledge he imparted has stayed with me to this day. I was left standing there trying to process what had just happened. The dogman's words echoed in my mind. You have been chosen to receive a message from the unknown. As I stumbled back down the mountain, I couldn't shake the feeling that my life had forever changed. I felt like I had been given a glimpse into the world beyond our own, a world of ancient secrets and hidden knowledge. Over the next few weeks, I began to experience strange occurrences. I would see shadowy figures out of the corner of my eye, and I would hear whispers in the wind. I knew that the dogman was still watching me, guiding me towards some greater truth, maybe. And then, one night, I received a vision. I saw a great battle between good and evil, with the dogman fighting on the side of the angels. I saw the world torn apart by war and destruction, and I saw the dogman standing tall, fighting for what was right. When the vision faded, I knew what I had to do. I had to share the dogman's message with the world to warn people of the dangers that lay ahead. I began to write, pouring out my story and my visions onto this page, Mike. And that's when things, well, things started to get really strange. Things started to happen. My computer would crash, and my notes would disappear. I would receive strange phone calls with no one on the other end. I knew that someone or something was trying to stop me from sharing the truth with you, Mike. But I refused to be silenced. I kept writing, kept sharing my story with anyone who would listen. And slowly but surely, people began to listen. They began to see the truth in my words. And they began to prepare for the battle ahead. And they told me that I should reach out to you, that you would share this message. As my message spread, I began to attract attention from all over the world. People were drawn to my story, sensing that something profound was happening. And then one day, I received a visit from a mysterious stranger. He was tall and imposing with eyes that seemed to see right through me. You have been chosen to be a messenger, he said, his voice low and gravely. You have been chosen to prepare the way for the return of the Nephilim. I was taken unsure of what to say, but the stranger just smiled and placed a hand on my shoulder. He said, you are no longer just an attorney. Do not fear, he said, you will be protected, you will be guided. 
And with that, he vanished. I was left standing there wondering if I had even imagined the whole thing, but I knew that I hadn't. I knew that my life had been forever changed. Since then, I have been on a mission to spread the word. I have traveled the world. Sharing my story and warning people of the dangers that lie ahead. And though I have faced many challenges and obstacles, I have never wavered. For I know that I am not alone. I know that the dogmen are watching over me, guiding me, and protecting me. And I know that together we can make a difference. We can prepare the world for the return of the Nephilim. And we can help to bring about a new era of peace and prosperity. As I continued to speak with the dogmen, I began to feel a sense of unease. There was something about him that didn't seem quite right. And then, in a moment of unguarded candor, he slipped up. He said, humans are the problem, he said, his eyes flashing with a hint of disdain. They are the ones who have destroyed the planet, who have ravaged the natural world. They are the ones who must be stopped. I was taken back by his words and I felt a surge of fear. Who was this stranger and what did he want from me? But I tried to keep my composure to press him for more information. I said, what do you mean? I asked, trying to keep my voice steady again. What do you plan to do? But the stranger just smiled, his eyes glinting with a sinister light. You'll see, he said. You'll see soon enough. Humans are all going to pay when the time is right. And with that, he vanished, leaving me shaken and confused. I knew that I had stumbled into something much bigger than myself, something that threatened the very fabric of our world. I knew that I had to act, to warn others about the danger that lurked in the shadows, and so I began to speak out, to share my story with anyone who would listen. It wasn't easy, of course. There were those who doubted me, who thought I was crazy or delusional, but I knew the truth and I refused to be silenced. And now, as I look back on those events, I realize that the stranger was right. Humans are the problem, because we are going to stand up against them. But I keep hearing this inner voice in my head, and I don't know where it comes from. It comes from deep inside my head, and it repeats over and over and over. And it says that humans must be stopped. It even tells me to do horrible things to myself, to take my own life. What have they done to me? We must be stopped and we must be changed, is all I hear. And that message continues to go on and on in my head, Mike, day after day. But I needed to get this out to you, because I don't know how long I have left. Earl. There you go, guys. That's the one that I've been holding back. Um, I was unsure of it myself. I believe that your all's comments on this are going to be very, very interesting. Um, I look forward to just releasing this to you guys and hearing what you have to say. And I'm going to be quiet on this one for a little bit. I want to see what y'all have to say on this one because I've pondered on this one for a while. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to keep your head on a swivel. Don't be something's dinner and be careful who you entertain.